All right, are we going to start on the inevitable? The inevitable Smashville. Let's go. Position four, Smash Bros versus Valorant. Okay, so we have Kirby and Olimar. Are they going to try some absorb tactics? Could be. And I would think with this custom with Kirby, maybe they're looking to have Olimar start the ground combos and have Kirby follow up with the uppie. But yeah, I saw Kirby earlier that had uh, Ice Breath. Mm. I haven't seen usage of that one yet. That'd be interesting to see. All right, so we have the blue team getting juggled right now. Nice landing trap there with the forward smash by Korean. Three forward smash by Kirby. Ooh. One thing, Kirby should just watch out. It looks like he's throwing out these uppies. It does put Kirby into helpless, so it's going to leave him quite vulnerable. A lot of shuffling back and forth with Kirby and Diddy. Kirby cannot land. He's trying to force, brute force his way down. Looks like the blue team have finally gotten close to each other, but they opt to go for the 1v1 situation. There we go. The early kill strategy on this team is definitely going to be Pikachu trying to set up for those those yeah. heavy skull bashes, especially it, versus light characters. Wow. Serving almost as a it serves as a hard punish and also just a, a, a pressuring option, that heavy up B there by Diddy Kong. As long as his teammates are around to cover him too, it's not completely unsafe. Is there thunder coming? No thunder. And got a read on the roll and four smash by Korea. And another okay. four, and four smash right back. Kirby's down air will follow up into additional moves. In that case, we saw forward smash. Diddy is just stock holding right now. No one can get a clean hit on him. Yeah, Kenny Poo playing very patient, very evasive with Diddy Kong right now, trying to hold on to that stock as long as he can. Almost commentator's ah, curse. He has jumping Still inhale. alive. This Kirby has jumping inhale. Now, if uh, if Alf Olimar had a little bit more rage, that up air definitely would have killed. But wow, still holding on to the stock. That's going to be crucial. Yeah, this five, rage with that up B is going to be yeah, way five, too powerful. Five stocks to one. Okay, is that still going to kill? Still not no. enough. Diddy's a fast faller. And this Kirby ah. is fishing for these up Wow. Right and that was Very a combo. incredible setup there. Up throw to up B, and that's going to take game one. All right, so we saw the the um the team strategy coming into play there. Now that we know their kill setup, Pikachu up throw. Can that up throw be DI'd slightly? Slightly, but not much. Not enough to avoid the up B. Yeah. I feel like the hitbox is too yeah. large. Yeah, he could read it anyway. Yeah. All right. So, so some pretty um quick teams. Pretty adept switch. combos here by by Team GSM. I haven't seen. Diddy heavy uppy being really uh, used too much, but they seem to all use it down here in Hawaii, and it's yeah. a great effect, I have to say. You really have to watch out for the grab combos, which and grabs are super strong in doubles anyway, due to the uh, throw animations giving you intangibility during your throw animation. All right, we got a crazy counter pick here. We got Delfino. By Nolan and Evan. Blue team went to switch to Lincoln Diddy Hall. Oh. And his partner rolled into his up B. I'm not sure why Ooh. Evan started off on a B. That wouldn't hit anyone. Alright, so we got a Diddy Ditto going on on the right side of the stage. Yeah, monkey fight. Standard stuff. Oh. Oh, wow. Good awareness there by Korean. I guess he knew that charging that headbutt was not going to take him too far to kill himself, so he tried to go for the punish. Ah, so Link has a uh, strong bow, which I'm just not sure of the name, and meteor bombs. Mm. 
team I see is very hungry for kills. Wow. The stage transition ending Link there with the up throw Thunder yeah. connecting just as the stage transition. Unfortunate. Both members of the blue team did die in that transition. Has to be a bit more careful. They are overcommitting in a lot of situations, which is getting, which is making them lose all their stocks. I like the up B that um, that Link is using this wow. match. It's going to help both, him recover on a stage like Delfino. And, wow. And both red team just died. All right, this is a scary transition here. We have a walk off on the right side, so. We're going to see Diddy, yep, he's throwing out F-Smashes. He knows the base knockback of that move is pretty ridiculous. So if that would connect, it could possibly end the stock. Back throw, not going to do it. Gonna Pikachu do it gets out well. of there. Very smart. Ooh. The team has to be careful with each other. They are hitting each other a lot. Very careful. Ooh. Once again, doing what another stage matches. transition. The blast zone up top becomes very dangerous. Nice charge down smash there by Kenny Poo. Yeah, nice and then another Korean. kill goes off on the left side. I missed that one. Yeah, Korean uh, hit Link with heavy skull bash for ah. whipping, up, uh, whipping up smash. <laughs> this transition was one of the more tame ones. You just start back on the main. Uh, Sharking platform here. Evan going for that greedy up B. As a Korean with that greedy heavy uh, snow bag. Heavy arrows. Ooh. Did he get sniped? He got right. sniped out of his up B. Yeah, Link sniped. Okay. All right. So this counter pick seeming to really work out here for uh, Nolan and Evan. Let's see if they yeah. can. Now they need. They can hang now on to this here. Just needs to not hit each other, and then it'll be they'll be a okay. As long as Link stays back and keeps shooting projectiles, it looks like... Ooh. Okay. Nice okay, follow-up there from Evan. Okay. As long as they keep up the spacing game, they'll be all right. Any quick stage transition? Low mm, and then I don't, I don't agree with Link chilling down there instead of helping yeah. out his, his partner. Yeah, they have to protect each other. Okay. Ooh. Nice dash, dash attack. attack to punish the whiff there. And uh, Nolan and Evan taking game two here. It's 1-1, one, one. yes, absolutely. All right, well, where shall the final game go? I am preempting a standard counter pick here from Team GSM. They don't want anything janky to throw off their chance to advance. They want to shoot for just an outplaying game here next, so. Do you think they'll switch characters? No, I don't think they'll switch. I think they know that the stage kind of, uh, the stage transitions kind of cause just enough havoc to throw them off that match. Again, good choice by Nolan and Evan to switch things up. Yep, standard flat stage here. Good pick by Team GSM. Being their team is very uh, vertical killing. I would expect the town and city or smash. Them. On this stage, I guess let's see if they if they opt for the the large flat stage seems to be good at, at um, separating the other team. In which case, if they do grab one, they can get their up throw up B combo. Right now, blue team is kind of winning. They have a percent lead. Keep in mind, they did switch to Diddy Link. So that, that choice has seemed to pay off for them so far. Nice follow-up there by Kenny Poo. Again, we have some team combat going on here. Have to be careful, make sure that, especially with team, team attack on here and doubles at Kawaii Con, you don't want to be attacking your teammate. All right, looks like it's Ninja Link's turn to get off. He has to play a match. So what game is this? Is well, this game three? Actually, 1-1. One, one. Pretty tight battle going on right now. Wow. 
and the red team has just just pulled away with the stock lead now. So let's see if they can hang on to that. Probably one of the scariest things with a Diddy on each team is going to be whichever Diddy can acquire Rage and keep it for the longest. Because Diddy has that crazy base knockback, the ability to kill with up airs. And he has the speed to back it up. Right. He can get so over there. Ending the Diddy Kong when, it, when they're in Rage is going to be super important here. Link is in trouble. Link is still in trouble. Ooh. Intercepting there. No DI in that up throw. It's going to combo into the Thunder. Nice uh, by Kenny. That heavy, that power up is just incredibly powerful if you ever have a read on anyone. This game is basically a Reynolds wrap at this point. Link doesn't have the, uh, the mobility to tank. Ooh. Oh, and they keep, and they keep hitting each other. Yeah, some mishaps here by, by the blue team. Just a little bit too much team damage going on, but I mean, this is Diddy Kong. Who knows what's going to happen? He's also using a power up B. It the power up B is really hard to, to trade with. Yeah. It can certainly end, end Pikachu stock where he stands, at the very least. Nice. A lot of rolling. Ooh. Oh, I see what they were going for there. But the pummel actually hit Pikachu out of the skull bash. Oh my goodness. The wall cling. The mix up. Not grabbing edge. Wall cling instead. Oh, misses the punish. The free damage there. Very, very tight spot here for Evan. Let's see what he can do. Holding his own here a little bit. But he definitely needs to take a stock right now, otherwise. There's yeah, no Pikachu, shot. Pikachu's got an extra one. They can afford it. They can just chip. And let's see if they have the follow-up. <laughs> almost it didn't even need it. Up throw almost killing off the top by itself. There it nice. is. Hard punish on the whiff down smash. Good stuff to double cheeseburger. Korean and Kenny Poo. Yeah, they bring the cheese. <laughs> I like their strategy. They were getting up throw to the heavy up B with Diddy Kong. Very, very scary team strategy because on top of that up B already being powerful, there's that added vertical height from the from Pikachu's up throw that's oh. really going to... Burly bro. Oh, up. that's right. All right, I'm next on stream, guys. Wish me luck. It's been fun commentating. Um, I'll be back.